screech owl, one of the smallest owls in North America, with an eerie, out-of-this-world sounding trill for a call. This fluffy little urban bird holds many interesting quirks and facts that we will explore together in this video. The Eastern Screech Owl, scientific name Megascopes Asio, also known as Uwu, tiny cute fluffy owl baby, comes in mainly two distinct colors, an ashy gray or gray morph and an autumn red or red morph. The Eastern Screech Owl is about the size of a robin ranging in lengths of 16 to 25 centimeters and weighing about 121 to 250 grams with a wingspan of 41 to 61 centimeters. They display a round head with ear tufts on either side and gaze at you with big round yellow eyes and a small yellow greenish beak. They have big feet with feathered toes and a stocky short tail ranging 7 to 9 centimeters. Their feathers are streaked with intricate patterns which are usually darker colors than their main natural color. As with many owls, the females are commonly larger and paler than the males, and these little owls can live for around 20 years. They are not to be mistaken with their closely related counterpart, the western screech owl, who while very similar in appearance, has a gray beak as opposed to the olive-colored beak of the eastern screech owl, and sounds differently, like this, <laughs> instead of this. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? <coughs> it's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Why yes, Mr. Owl, I'll be your neighbor. In fact, I already am. With a huge range across North America, you can find the Eastern Screech Owl anywhere from Canada to Mexico. They live across the Northeast to the Midwest states. And the Eastern Screech Owls are here to stay year-round as they don't migrate. These owls inhabit farmlands to woodlands to suburban landscapes to urban parks and nest within holes inside trees. However, they don't create the cavities themselves and instead rely on woodpeckers, squirrels, or even natural fungi to enlarge the holes. They will also use nest boxes, mailboxes, empty crates, and wood piles as homes. Like many owls, the eastern screech owl is primarily nocturnal, only occasionally seen around dawn and dusk hunting. Eastern screech owls are not picky when it comes to food, eating tadpoles, frogs, lizards, earthworms, and insects. They'll also eat small mammals like squirrels, mice, moles, rats, and rabbits, as well as other birds, including waxwings, swallows, finches, doves, and woodpeckers. They're even known to occasionally eat bats and even be rarely cannibalistic. These little but fierce hunters will watch their prey from six to 10 feet above the ground, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. When that time comes, they'll pounce on their prized meal. Eastern screech owls are monogamous, meaning they pick one mate and mate for life. However, a male can sometimes, although rare, have two mates. Wow, talk about a side chick. The mating season is between late January and mid-March. Courtship for males can include bowing, cooking their bill, raising their wing, advertising a home, and or bringing food to females. After mating, each couple calls in duet and preens each other's feathers before building a home together. Nope, 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 not going there, not going there, not dealing with this. Okay, moving on. Eastern screech owls usually have one brood and a clutch of two to six eggs. The eggs are white in appearance and fairly small with an incubation period of 27 to 34 days. Chicks hatch with their eyes closed and covered in down white feathers. Oh my gosh, look at these adorable little babies. Aren't they the cutest thing you've ever seen? So adorable. <coughs> Excuse me, there was something in my throat. Young eastern screech owls will fledge after 8 to 10 weeks and leave the nest. Unable to fly, they hop from branch to branch in a stage called branching. The hatchlings are fed by both the mother and father and taken care of for 5 to 6 weeks after they have left the nest. 
the eastern screech owl can find predators in other owls, such as the great horned owl and the barred owl, other birds like blue jays and crows, and other animals including snakes, minks, skunks, weasels, and raccoons. They are also prone to getting many parasites, such as Plasmodium gundersi, Plasmodium forestae, and Plasmodium elongatum. Truly, the eastern screech owl is a fascinating creature. A little urban owl with a lot of tricks hiding in its feathers, the eastern screech owl is sure to fly its way into your heart.